Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're doing a bit of a bike check. But wild bikes, I haven't really told you guys much of. But for now, we're talking about the bike that I've been using in most of these videos, and that is the Norco. And the reason I like this bike so much is because, just look at it. The style, the frame, everything about it, it just looks so beautiful. So now I'm going to tell you all about the bike. It is a Norco full suspension mountain bike, and it dated, it's dated back 2014. Has a RockShox Revolution fork with a 2012 Fox float in the rear. Has a SRAM 11 speed derailleur with a RockShox reverb draw post. It has a rental stem, race face handlebars, level T brakes, which aren't that bad, but they do they do the job. Some nice mud hugger um, mud guards, one for the front and one for the rear, and some nice race face cranks. And one really cool feature about this bike is the fact that it's carbon fibre. Has, it hasn't got those welds, it's just really smooth on those corners and bends. One thing about this bike that is alright, it could be better, but that is the head tube angle. As you can see from close up, the head tube angle looks dead straight. And that's because it's not dead straight, but it sort of is. It's pretty straight. And then as you go from a distance, you can see it doesn't look, or it doesn't look that bad. But then the bike is 2014. If you search up most old bikes, the head tube angle is pretty straight. And also, I didn't mention it has some Magic Mary tyres front and rear with some Trail Richie rims. They're actually really thin, but they do the job. And if you want to know the features that that I put on this bike, that is the fresh new pair of DMR grips. They're a bit mucky right now, but they do, they do the job. A cube water bottle cage with a water bottle. Some DMR pedals, mud hugger, mud guards that I already talked about, and actually, the um, the brakes. So this bike originally came with Trail Ovid brakes, which actually weren't that bad until they broke. One of them was leaking and one of them was just shot, so I had to take them off, got new brakes. And you're probably wondering, Max, level T brakes are pretty bad, why did you go for them? Well. They they weren't too expensive and they got pretty good reviews and I don't I don't like they're not bad they're really not that bad and also I forgot to mention this again um, the frame is a size large with 27 half wheels front and back that's basically all the information you need to know about this bike I love it I've been riding it for a couple months now and it's been absolutely it's been it's been such a dream so you're probably wondering what on earth was that BMX in the first shot of the video wow let me tell you right here. So if you've been following along with my Instagram, you've been seeing I've been riding a BMX, and that is this Office Crave BMX. This thing dates back to the year 2000, and it somehow is still alive. So this thing was a bit of a hunk of junk. My, da my dad's had it for about, I would say, 10 years, and then I sent them someone before that, like, was part of, like, some family member gave it to us or something, and now we have it. It's been sat in the shed for a, a good, a good, couple of years just rotten dying away but yeah, I fixed it up so there wasn't actually much fixing that I thought I would need to do so first things first the rear inner tube was completely flat I had a hole in it so I had to get a, like a puncture repair kit and it's all solid now I got a new seat because the other one was pretty bad and I spray painted it black because it had like skull and crossbones on it and it looks pretty good the bars had rust covered all over, so I spray painted them black as well. Did have a front brake, but I took it off because the front brake was awful. The rear brake's equally as bad, but I kept the rear brake on because it had this really, really sweet brake system here. It means you can do bar spins over and over again, forever basically. I'm actually not sure how it really works, but it kind of just like clicks every time it goes around once, so it kind of like... I, I, I don't actually really know. I also put on some new grips. They were, they were actually on the Norco before. And I took them off because they were starting to really wear away. But they still had a, uh, they still have some life in them to put them on the BMX. The frame, as you can see, is a bit scratched, but I can't really do anything about that because I don't really haven't really got the, I haven't really got the kit for that right now. But hopefully, I do some someday. So back to the braking system. If you know what that is around the headset, how it kind of like you can do bar spins for eight for like like centuries and years, um, drop in the comments and let me know because I would love to know what it's called. So 
So that is a basic teardown of both of these bikes. Really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different because I'm not actually in the I'm not in the forest and I'm not in the bedroom like showing off like a product or something. So thanks for all watching. Peace out. See you later.